Hey guys, this is Charles from worshipguitarskills.com and one of our subscribers, Ronnie, asked a question about playing some guitar fills. So I figured I'll come up with a couple of fills to show you what some of my go-to things are and then in addition to showing you the actual parts, kind of showing you the thinking behind it too. So let me play the fill for you right now. You can hear what it sounds like, see what I'm doing there and then afterwards I will break it down. <laughs> so that's nice and simple we play d g b minor a that was the progression one four six five all right so let's break that down my first chord is a d so instead of just playing the d triad i played added some other notes namely the seventh and the ninth to give me some variation there So you can see what I'm doing there. It's 10, pulling off to 9. Picking 10 in the B. 9, 11, 9, 7. 9, 9. Now this B note here is the third of G because I want a note to rest on. So I'm playing a melodic pattern to create some melodic interest and tension a little bit, but then I rest on a chord tone that's part of the G chord, which is that B note. And then, over the B minor, I play the same line, but then I'm going, I'm picking nine, and then I'm picking six. So now I have this. nice and simple and the reason I rest on the C sharp here because that's the third of A major. So now I've got a melodic pattern that I play twice just for some repetition and then I rest on the B note which is the third of G when we're on the G chord over, and then I play the same melodic pattern over the B minor and then when we rest on A I go to the C sharp which is the third of A. All right so that's pretty cool. So let me play it for you one more time with a simplified version and afterwards I'll show you I can spice it up a little bit. So what you can do now if you want to add some spice to it, which is really just about phrasing and articulation. So instead of playing, I can go pick seven, hammer to nine and then pick nine. So now I've got, and then I can go, So pick, hammer, pull off, slide. And you can just do these like little flurries of hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides. But that's a cool way for you to get into some melodic patterns. I literally just based everything off this scale. But I did it between two shapes, mostly. And I just paid attention to my chord tones and I wanted to come up with something that would be interesting melodically, but at the same time, I am paying attention to my chord tones. So if you're new to chord tones, be sure to check out our chord tones series. There'll be a link in the description box below. And hopefully you can put this full to use. You can do also stuff like this. So you just take that same idea. Or. You just 
just need to go ahead to the and, and land it on the core tones. So that's a cool little phrase that you can check out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope that's been helpful. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And you'll get notifications whenever we release new lessons just like this one. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video where we looked at ways in which you can play more melodically on the guitar by making use of your mental understanding, your oral ability by hearing music and melodic ideas, and then the physical ability of actually mapping out the notes on the guitar. Now, this is all just the start of a whole wonderful journey, and if you'd like to dig deeper and learn more about how you can com compose these different kinds of parts, as well as get access to the backing track that I used in this example, well, we've got a seven-day worship guitar skills challenge, which you can sign up for for free. The link is in the description box. When you sign up for the seven-day challenge, you will learn 15 different kinds of guitar parts making use of these core tones in a musical and melodic fashion and that's going to help you really map out the notes on the guitar so you can play with more passion power and precision all those kind of good things that you hear all of your favorite guitarists do so that's all covered in the seven day guitar challenge you'll get tablature you'll get a backing track and you will also get access to my personal email address so if you've got any questions you can just fire off an email and then i will go ahead and address that in future videos all right guys been awesome hanging with you today make sure you sign up for the seven day guitar challenge so we can go ahead and dig deeper into this wonderful journey of becoming a better 